Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I have something, in, a new plan to uh, show, show you this actually came in the mail, yes, yesterday, but of, um, I was at work, so I wasn't able to show it off, and I've uh, repotted, this is in fact Drosera regia, commonly known as the King Sundew, and this is one of the three largest species of Drosera in the world, and it's also one of the most finniest finickiest plants to grow around as as well because this this plant has got a reputation for being for being very difficult close to impossible to grow be, because of um you don't treat treat this plant as say a regular uh, Drus drosera plant um it uh, it uh, hails from uh, south africa um and these these plants are very rare in the wild they only range in one small valley and there's like a col colony of them, and that's pretty much it for them being in the wild. <clears throat> and of um, horticulture, I see, you, I see uh, you see I have a big, a small plant here in a uh, great big pot because there is evidence stating that of, um, this, this plant likes to have its roots cool. And also, of, um, in this, and it also likes to grow in a, um, and it also happens to have some very long roots there for a plant like for a plant like this size it uh, had some pretty length lengthy roots they're about the, the length length of this uh so solo dick dixie cup cup here and they're also a little on the uh woody side side as well um i have uh, read that of um these these plants re require a similar type of um growing conditions as of um highland nepenthes and or uh helium fora to grow as uh, well and and I also read of uh, they tend to like somewhat like of a uh, dark darlingtonia conditions as well <coughs> and so if, um, if and they also tend to like an aeration in their roots that's why I have uh, grow growing it in a long fibered spanda moss mixed with per perlite as well as uh, orchid bark these plants do not like to be if um, re repotted all, all that much and of a, they're 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 not gonna die on you like a drove drosel five phylum would if you uh, disturb their roots. But still, they don't like to have their roots disturbed all that much. And of really, the only two ways to uh, good ways to uh, pro propagate this plant is by seed, which I hear is very tricky. As and uh, root root cuttings. I took some root cuttings, but before I have uh, re re repotted this. This this plant here, on the as a, a safety measure, on the off chance this this plant here dies, I can still have have some more more of this this plant. And so of um. And so of um, as far as of uh, feeding goes, this plant is a hangry little monster. If you catch my my drift, this plant loves to eat. And there's uh, in the uh, carnivorous plant community, there are of um, uh, there are a little uh, horror stories where that uh, people fail to uh, grow grow these plants past the seed seedling stage. It isn't getting them to uh, germinate from seed. That's that's the problem. It's getting them to survive past the seedling stage. That's really difficult for a uh, lot lot of growers because that. The plants literally starve to a death because if you don't feed a Venus flytrap, most other Drosera, a fly flytrap, ping ping guicula, utricularia, they're not going to die on you just, just because you forget to uh, feed them. There's, there's still plants they have photosynthesized. Drosera regia, on the other hand, they like to eat a lot. And if, um, a lot of people tend to like to uh, foliar spray their, their plants a lot. And I've also heard people like to root feed their of, um, Drosera regia as well. Um, just, just just to feed, feed and make sure they have enough to eat. But if, um, I also heard that the uh, root feed feeding is not, not exactly all it's crack cracked up to be. And these plants are really not for uh, be beginners either. Get some of uh, if anyone who's watching this who wants to uh, take a stab at growing these plants gets your uh, get your experience in first grow, growing some of uh, very simple um, trop, subtropical and tropical 
Dr Dracerfer's buff before you uh, try growing at this plant here. Try growing a banana or a capensis and if uh, other easy easy going and forgiving of uh, Drosera plants first buff but before taking on this this plant here because Regia is not a for forgiving plant to uh, plant to a uh, grow if you screw up just once it you, that that's it you don't uh, really uh, get another get another chance the only other chance that you really have is keep out of a uh, taking root cuttings from it if you get the uh, chance such uh, such such as when if uh, growers transplant their plants or if they see the roots growing through the pots a lot of some sometimes they'll even have um, cut those roots off using us cuttings to get more uh, to have uh, to get more uh, plants so uh, yeah that is about as much as I know about this plant at the moment I have to let this plant settle in first I will definitely let, let you guys know if this plant survived or not. And I'll also guys let you guys know about the uh, root cuttings I took here. I also took a uh, capensis cutting as well be because I want some more uh, capensis as well. Be because on the off chance I lose this one over here. And so I don't lose lose another one. So uh, yeah, that should uh, cover <coughs> Regia for uh, right, right now. And they also like to have their roots cool cool as well and so if you happen to like this video give me a like so subscribe drop me a comment and i'll see you guys next time